I feel like I should be put in YouTube jail for waiting like two weeks to react to this. But Harry Styles came out with a music video very randomly to his song Daylight. I'm not gonna lie, the music video that he made for the song with James Corden was so good that I am genuinely concerned that this will not top the Late Late Show version of the music video. Like I'm looking at the thumbnail, it's a picture of him on a horse. I'm like, okay, and I want him in a bathtub. He was in a bathtub, right? Okay, but seriously, I'm gonna give him a chance. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm a videographer, so I'm I'm always excited to react to music videos. Oh, that's on my computer. Hey, I didn't curl the back of my hair, so act like you don't notice. <laughs> Sorry, my headphones scared me. Okay, this is already really cool, I'm not gonna lie. He looks lovely. Okay, that was clever. I hope you're missing me. If I was a bluebird, I would fly to you. You'd be the spoon, dip you in honey, so I could be sticking to you. Daylight. You got me this is so good. Because it does kind of have like a circus y vibe <laughs> when you see him in a circus. Like, I see how they got from A to B. Clever concept. Oh my god, that is so cute. <laughs> okay, King. They tricked me with the horse. I wasn't expecting circus from the horse thumbnail. This is so cute. If I was a bluebird, I would fly to you. You'd be the spoon, dip you in honey so I could be sticking to you. Okay, okay. I am so aggressively taking notes right now. Okay, we're breaking it down. First overall impression, so cute. So cute. Just like a quirky little addition. Just like, why not put out a music video for a song that you released a year ago? From the beginning. Breaking down things that I noticed here. So from the beginning, loved the opening shot. It already warns you that the video is gonna have kind of a surreal, quirky aesthetic to it. This is not gonna be a music video based in reality, okay? Harry Styles will be a part of the circus in this music video. All of the little visuals that they had for specific lines of the song I thought were really cool. Like, right off the bat, they say, I hope you're missing me by now or something. And the girl, like, throws a knife and it barely misses him. Then he says, if I was a bluebird, I would fly to you. And there's, like, girls, like, on a trapeze. Is that what it's called? Next to him? Like, they're kind of flying. Like, it's symbolic. And then the next time he says that, there's a bunch of girls wearing blue. Because they're in little little bluebird costumes. And then he says something. He says, we're on bicycles. And he's on 
obviously that bicycle. I just loved how they addressed specific lines in the song via some specific visuals. They definitely did not have to do that. Maybe there's some songs where you're like, yeah, if they don't do something to address this line in the music video, then we're gonna be disappointed. But this is not one of those songs. They didn't have to have girls dress up like bluebirds, but they did and it was fun and it was quirky and I loved it. When he shoots out of that cannon in his little yellow bird costume. It was about the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. It's shocking, but I'm remembering maybe seeing tweets of him already in this. I feel like I've seen pictures of him in this costume and people were gently roasting him, but with the utmost love and respect, of course. It's ridiculous. It's fun, but it is supposed to be ridiculous. They're literally shooting him out of a cannon. I think that maybe the wings are fun. I think I maybe am not loving the robber question mark that, that he has on him. Of course, if anyone can pull it off, it would be him. And he looks absolutely gorgeous in every other way. I will say one of my favorite shots of the music video was when he was wearing the yellow bird costume from underneath. I think it's just not often that you get a close up shot from underneath while they are essentially laying belly to the ground. But in the sky, I think it's just not like an angle that you see of someone very often often. Like Dayglow has a music video where he's standing on top of like a clear piece of plexiglass or something and the camera's underneath and okay but that's like him from like the POV of his feet. It's not like you know what I mean? It's funny because I'm kind of feeling like I'm matching the yellow outfit now that I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. The next thing I want to talk about is this man doing his own stunts. Did he teach himself how to fly? I'm kidding. I'm mostly talking about the riding the bicycle and oh uh, yes the horse i mean evidently he's doing it but like that's what i'm saying i guess people have done crazier things but still also i don't know what that type of bike is called so okay i'm gonna give it a compliment i'm gonna give it a critique a compliment for the general video is i'm loving the color grading it's you're probably like you're probably like what color grading well no you're probably not like that i'm sure you like the colors of the video as well but what i like about it i feel like we're in an era of everything is trying to look like film because film is nostalgic and cool and the aesthetic of it is in right now. So a lot of stuff has that like faded film look to it nowadays, which I utilize that look in like my photography and stuff all the time. So I totally get it. However, my compliment here is I'm really liking the contrast and the saturation. Okay, there's contrast in this video. The blacks are black. The blacks are actually black. It's just nice to see some contrast. I'm trying to think of like the past few videos I've reacted to. Okay, like the Olivia Rodrigo video for Vampire. Literally half of that video had that film look, but that's because it looked like it was actually possibly shot on film. But that's a perfect example. Also just having the wide screen. It's a nice break from the film look that we've been getting as of late in culture. Okay, that was my compliment. My only critique, the only part of the video where I was like, you know, I'm watching this from like a, like a director's perspective, or I'm like trying to. The second time that the hits, all they do for it is he starts running past mirrors and the camera just tracks him running from the side across the mirrors. And then it cuts to him, I think, standing on the tightrope. I feel like that part could have gone so much harder. Oh my gosh, I'm singing the wrong song. I know what I'm talking about, but I just sang the da -da 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 from Satellite because I was just watching the Satellite music video on my phone. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Shelby, okay, how does it go in this song? Oh my, it's basically the same thing. Oh my, he goes do, 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 do. Okay, the guitar part, the da, 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 da. I feel like that would have been a great time for some shakier shots or like, if he's gonna do the running thing, maybe the camera like runs with him instead of just panning or I don't remember maybe they were like kind of tracking him on like a dolly or something but I can just envision some shakier shots like actually running with him or like more movement in the shots on the tightrope that was the only part of the video where I feel like it didn't quite match the song um and the video was a little bit too chill in that moment but I feel like that's my only critique if I were to give one and like who am I to give one you know oh and like him on the tightrope obviously looks kind of fake but I think it's a quirky music video. I think it's kind of, I think they're aware of that. I don't think they're trying to fool anyone into thinking that Harry Styles is walking on a tightrope 
way high above the ground. You know what I mean? What did y'all think of the outfits? I'm curious. I know I talked a little bit about the yellow one, but like, what about just like the one he wears in the majority of the music video, the black one with the white bows going down? Do y'all like it? Mixed feelings. And I'm only asking because Harry Styles has become kind of a fashion icon. Curious what y'all thought about that. Um, he looks gorgeous. The colors look gorgeous. The concept is so cute, quirky, and kind of matches like, or I should say the bounciness of the song does kind of give off circusy vibes. So that was my initial reaction. What was yours? Comment down below, let me know. And I have a bunch of other Harry Styles videos, so I'll link them down below if you wanna watch more of my Harry reactions. Subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos of mine. What should I react to next? I have so many questions. But until then, I will see you all soon with another video. Bye.